and welcome to my narrowboat life as a part-time boater where I cruise the canals in search of the arts. Today's video is going to cover two things. The first is a boat painting update and we have some exciting things happening there. And the second thing is about a Facebook group that I have discovered and that I have joined just this week. More about that later. Please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I hope you like what I have to show you today. When we visited the boat in July, it was to hand it over to Mike Luby for painting. We've made another visit up to the boat and we saw the update at that point. It was lovely seeing what Mike had done. The boat had some, a new coat of paint, several new coats of paint, and what we saw was actually a gloss undercoat. It made the boat look nice and shiny and almost brand new, but Mike was saying that it really isn't where it should be yet because it was just an undercoat. And I was saying it looked fantastic. So if that was fantastic to me, goodness knows what it's gonna look like when it's actually completed. following my vlog you will know that the boat has been in for painting since July and it is now October. We have had a couple of visits back up to the boat to see how the painting is going on and our last visit up there we met John Leeson the sign writer. We've been waiting for him to get back to us with some design ideas for the nameplate on either side of the boat and also for some artwork designs. Well we got those just this week and it was really exciting to see what John came up with. I'm looking forward to sharing those with you, but not just yet. We've still got a little ways to go. When we met the sign writer, we had discussions with him about the name and the design and where it should go and what layout. And then we left it in his hands to come back to us with some designs. They arrived back this week. There were six of them two of which were based on our ideas and the rest were based on our ideas but were John's interpretation of them and I have to say his interpretation was a lot better. So I will give you more on that nearer the time when we come to collect the boat. There is some exciting news to give you at that point. We have opted for one design that John has done and we have sent a message back to him asking for more details. What we received were basically pen and ink drawings of the name and the artwork. We now need to wait and see what he comes back with. I recently joined a new group. It's called the Narrowboat and Canal Lovers Facebook page. I have to say, that I have interacted with some lovely people, all sharing the same interest as myself. And I asked a question, could they tell me anywhere on the canal system that you could see art from the water? I got a huge response, lots of pictures and lots of comments on various canals that I could go to. So it looks like the next 12 months, I will truly be part-time boater cruising the canals in search of the arts. I'm so looking forward to it. The arts don't only include painting, however. I'm hoping that in, through 2021, pubs and live music will open up as well, because prior to the pandemic, we were used to going into pubs and joining in with music nights. 
They were amazing. I took my violin and my guitar along and just joined in the jam sessions that were happening. I want to bring you more of that. There is such a wealth of art in and around the canal system and it's there for everybody, not just if you've got a boat. I hope that you will be following my vlog to know where we go, what art we discover and what it's like. I hope you've enjoyed this video, brief though it is, and I hope you've enjoyed our journey on the boat painting. There is more to come and I hope that you will subscribe, like and share and tune in for future videos. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. If you would share it so that we could get a few more subscribers, shameless plug there, that would be great. So until next week and next week's video, bye.